Hello everyone, this is LW Gaming and welcome back for another video of Lancaster M. Today's video we're gonna take a look at the Apotheosis Awakening stages. So this is actually my first time going going to attempt this, so yep. And we're gonna go in blind. But however, I'm just gonna show you ways of how you can how you can win like beat the awakening stages for Apotheosis. So let's get right into it. Star of Misfortune, okay. So anyways, the, our opponents in the Apotheosis stages are, uh, the first one is, is uh, Werner, second Emperor Lovina, and the third one is Matthew. So let, let's take a look at what are we going to deal with here. So this is the skills I'll be using, and of course he's a flyer. So let's get right into it. Okay, so looking at their stats, uh, this uh, this burner it should be should be easy to do. So we just need to snipe him. Actually, that's way easier than I thought. Okay. We'll just attack uh, Ember Lovina here. Okay, one shot him easily. Okay, we're gonna keep our distance. Okay, he became a demon. Didn't hurt us much. Okay. And done. Yep, the first stage shouldn't be hard. You just need to ensure that you you know what to do with apotheosis, and and you're good to go. And also, my apotheosis right now is maxed out on bonds, and also his gears are pretty well built. So that's why I was able to clear that really easily. And now, move on to stage 2. I'll show you the gears later, but for now, I just, we just need to clear this. So anyways, this time, this, this stage offer different heroes now. So, we have Miriandal as our ally, uh, Landius, and Matthew. And on the enemy team, is basically a mirror battle. So, yep. Funny enough, the apotheosis on the enemy team is Demon. So this could actually give us uh, an upper hand, actually. Kind of think of it, because uh, the en because the enemy apotheosis is not going to move as far as uh, as mine. So, well, actually, no, I take it back. It does. It does move pretty far because of the uh, mobility. It's using cavalry mobility, which is interesting. Okay. Let's see. Let me see. The, or do we have any? Yeah, there's some splashes we need to watch out for. So, as we advance, we need to be mindful of of her. So let's be careful. I think we should stay stay back for now. We do not want to get too close. To just stay put, no need to move. Okay, uh, <laughs> uh Landius became demon. Okay. Uh, uh, let's, let's do this real quick. Uh, let's get Landius. Rocky Restraint. Also, yeah, we had to watch out for our for, for, for Apotheosis as well. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's go after Apotheosis here since uh, Landius is mobility down. 
We gotta get him. ASAP. We do not want to deal with Patiosis this time. With him gone, it should be easy right out here. Tranquility. Okay, that one's back on Calvary. And my Apotheos is bit of dust. Oh well. Uh, Matthew, let's, let's, let me route Matthew here. Okay, that will stun him for one turn. And then, do this. And go after Matthew. Okay, we got stunned. Okay. Oh, there goes Matthew. I think we'll be fine. And there you go. You should be able to get Apotheosis Awakened by now if you follow these steps. And let me screenshot this real quick. Alright, all set. And now, like I promised earlier, this is the gear I went for. Like the gear set I went for, Ragnarok, Last Rites, Fire Boom Bonnet, and Overlord badge. Yep, Overlord badge. And uh, this, this gear set is probably by far the, the most commonly used for PvP. And I also had Grin Shield, but however, I dis I decided not to build her just yet because, you know, it's going to cost me too much of the resources to build both characters at, at the same time. Uh, you can imagine that there's going to be a lot of things I had to build right, as of now for my account. Yep, this is going to be a nightmare. But anyways, um, hope you all find this video informative or helpful in some ways. And I'll see you all next time.